Come on,
had a moment to gather my thoughts. Um, it didn't go horrible, but it didn't go great either. And I knew that the way I had my facilities set up, that there were gonna be some shortcomings. And I plan to do a video here very quickly on that Tartar setup and what I'm using, the, the Tartar Cattle Master Series 3 uh, shoot system. I've had a lot of questions on it and um, I think it's, it's worth a review, um, but I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that. That'll be coming up probably after uh, all the breeding videos are done. So there are some shortcomings with the Tartar equipment itself that caused me some problems. There are some shortcomings in the way that I had to set up my alleyway that caused me some problems. And then it was just overall lack of experience um, and confidence. You know, this is the first time I've done this. This is only the third time one of the cows has been through that shoot. Um, but most of them really have not spent any time in it. A few of them have spent zero time in it. So there's a whole, there's, so there's a lot of room for improvement. Some of those resources that I relied heavily upon were just general YouTube searches of people placing cedars. But then Iowa State University has a lot of good publications out there. Missouri Beef Reproduction, Missouri Repro, um, I think is what, they have their own YouTube channel. They've got websites, stuff like that. They have a lot of really good information. Uh, Purdue University puts out some really good stuff. Um, so this was just the beef, the, the beef AI protocols for 2018. They obviously update it every year, but when I looked at the 2022 protocols for what I'm doing, nothing has changed. So um, I'm doing fixed time AI on a seven day sync with a cedar. So I know that's a lot. And anyone who's looking at doing uh, AI themselves or that's the route they're thinking about taking, I highly suggest you kind of educate yourself on what your vet's gonna be doing because for the first two years, this is our third year doing artificial insemination. I didn't really do a bunch of research, so I just had the vet do everything and I never really paid attention to what he was doing. And it wasn't until I started uh, getting ready to do this myself that I really regretted not having two years experience knowing what my vet was doing, watching what my vet was doing and understanding the step in the protocol. It just would have made things a little bit clearer to me. But again, if you can find, uh, this is all over the internet, it's a great just kind of visual layout, makes it very, very simple on all the different choices for both cows and heifers. And what I did today was day one is placing the cedar, which is a controlled internal drug release, as well as administration of a GNRH, gonadal tropal, gonad release, gonadal tropal release hormone. Then in seven days, I will pull the cedar out. You administer uh, prostaglandin. And then a certain time after that, that's that fixed time in the fixed time AI, uh, which is anywhere from 60 to 66 hours. So rough, you know, so roughly two and a half days. Uh, then they actually get inseminated and then there's another uh, drug that is administered to them. Another round of GNRH, which is what I gave this morning. The last step in the process, the actual artificial insemination itself, I'm gonna load the cows up and take to the vet. So I chose a seven day sink. That's what we've done since day one. That's what the vet recommended. I mean, I encourage anyone out there who's thinking about doing this themselves, um, give it a try. And you know, if you're thinking about going to AI school, like I am planning to do, uh, but you're not sure that it's something that you can do or wanna do. I feel like if you have the facilities here, this is a great opportunity to give it a try. That's not, it's not very technical. There's not a whole lot of skill involved to it. If I can do it, anyone can do it for sure. Um, so it kind of gives you the opportunity to um, kind of get your feet wet and see if, yeah, you know, that was that was good, that worked, I enjoyed it, it was fun, or it was an absolute disaster, you have zero desire to do that again um, before you spend the money and the time uh, to actually go through an AI school. So if you're thinking about doing it, just do it, man. Um, I wish I would've done this years ago. It's not a big deal. Any questions, comments, concerns, sarcastic remarks, leave them down below. And if you guys have any, any hints, tips, pointers, anything like that, uh, for cedar application, or even just generally running cows through a facility, um, leave them down below as well. Because like I said, I, I absolutely am an open book. I wanna learn, I wanna hear from you guys that are much more experienced than me to kinda help me out. And thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in one week.